Alanya Sio was a Gestalt worker at S23, as well as a veteran of the Vignettian War. Elena is considered one of the more confusing characters of the game, who draws heavy questioning into what is exactly real and what is not concerning her, and various theories and explanations have differing thoughts as to the true nature of this character. In today's video, I will be explaining the lore of Elena Sio, as well as the differing interpretations regarding her. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Our first notice of Elena comes from the photograph that Elster carries around. This photograph during the prologue showcased Arianne's face. However, between Re-Edge and the end of Medical, or the Serpensky part of the game, it instead showcases Elena's. This demonstrates how Elster for the first half of the game believed that her lost lover that she was searching for was not Arion, but rather Elena Sio. We see Elena's face again on a security pass for the West Wing. This pass states that it's a worker's pass, which places her at a rather low-ranked regular worker in the facility. However, it should be noted that the West Wing is more so the interrogation, torture wings of the floor, which does raise some questions as to why a regular worker would have such a pass. But that question could be answered by the fact that it is implied that the factories are to the west of the West Wing. So possibly she just needed to navigate her way over there. We learn about Elena from her diaries. Um, these diaries describe her experience within the facility as humans and replicas begin to become corrupted. It is one of the few sources we have, much like Adler's source, that walks us through the corruption step by step. Her diaries state as follows. Feeling a little lightheaded today. I hope it's not that new flu that seems to be going around. I can't afford to miss any more shifts. That storage at the factory was chewing me out for what felt like hours for fainting at work the last time I got a cold. I haven't seen Elster the last few days. I hope she's okay. More and more people go missing in the mines lately, including replicas. Not even the protectors seem to be safe. Something is wrong. No one will tell me what is happening, but ever since I woke up, everyone has been behaving strangely. The protectors won't let me leave my room and return to work, even though the wound from my fall is already healed. I think there must have been an accident in the mine. I overheard two Yules whispering in the front of my room that they're running out of staff. I'm worried that something has happened to Elster. I haven't heard from her in a while. I can't just sit around here any longer. It's worse than I thought. Everyone has disappeared. I still haven't found any trace of Elster. It's as if she's never been here. Something's wrong with the protectors, those that are still around. A guard spotted me earlier sneaking out of the medical wing, and she went on a monstrous scream as she chased me. When I looked back, I saw her face, and now I can't forget it. It looked like she had been in some horrible accident. How long has it been that I'm down here? How did I get here? Where is this place, and why am I even here? My memory feels so blurry, as if I had been, always been here, forever. Even my hair is slowly turning white. I remember my name, and I remember my life. But I also remember a different name and a different life. It feels like the line between her and me is blurring the longer I stay in here. Elena. These diary entries cover the slow fall of the facility as well as Arianne's slow rewriting of Elena. However, they suddenly stop after the fourth entry, which creates a problem as to what actually ends up happening to Elena at the end of the game and what her fate was. These diaries also showcase how Elena had heavy connections to Elster who, if you remember in the lore, is not supposed to be at S23, according to several other characters. And it also showcases how she begins her diaries awakening from an injury. Later on, we see pictures of her on a photograph wearing a military uniform, presumably next to Lilith Ito, along with other postcards depicting different officers. This photo is labeled the People's Army's 5th Vignettian Infantry Division, Unit 12, signifying that Elena once served in the armed forces. One notable thing about this photo is that it showcased that Elena had red eyes prior to the time at S23, which seems to suggest that she didn't develop them because of Elena. Theories Elena Co is a character that is the epicenter of various theories and explanations that attempt to explain away some of the mystery that surrounds her. And out of any character in the lore, it is easily that Elena is the most complex and requires the most theories to even get the basic understanding of. I acknowledge that the theories I present today don't fully explain Elena, but they do the best to give some type of explanation regarding her, seeing as to really understand Elena requires understanding a lot of other more complex part of the games, as she is deeply connected based off which interpretation of the game you follow as to what meaning she holds. But 
One approach is to understand the mystery around Elena, is to look at her as if she is the dreaming Arion. She is the embodiment of Arion's sleeping form. This line of reasoning uses the diaries which retell her as being someone who loves Elster, someone the original Elena wouldn't have known, as well as the fact that Elena's first entry in As-23 occurs after she awoke from an injury in the mines. This could be symbolization of her awakening from the dream that Elena, Arianne is in as a new form. This explanation explains the overall confusion that surrounds her. It explains why a veteran of the war would be at a mining colony, and why that veteran would have the butterfly box, which contains the bioresonant seal of the cane yellow. All things that really have nothing to do with the actual Elena. It also has to be added here that the confusion in the prologue of who exactly broke the original keycard, and what exactly happened to the original Ariane, could all be explained by this explanation, that she got out of the Penrose and walked over to Lang, either in the dream state or not. However, this explanation holds issue when one considers her final diary, where she states that she still remembers her life, but she doesn't identify as Ariane, she identifies herself as Elena. She thinks Arion's an outsider. This line of explanation is very similar to the recharacterization that Falk describes, which wouldn't really suggest that Elena is Arion, but rather that due to recharacterization or bioresonance, both things that are connected to the King in Yellow, if you subscribe to that thought of theory, it's more so that Elena becomes Arion. Even in dream theory, this could be wagered that Arion is rewriting her through dream into becoming herself. So, the alternate theory is that Elena becomes the dreaming Arion of finality. This removes the original idea that Elena was Arion, and instead wagers that at the end of the game, the Arion we see is not Arion, but is rather Elena. This explanation seeks to explain why Elena seems to go missing, but also, but also aligns with theories that focus on reality or finality. The finality theories in particular wager that the final death of Arion is unimportant to finality as a whole, and having that death be Elena would support that notion, seeing as Elena isn't the true lover of Elster, so having her be the final death of finality would add to the wager that finality isn't actually the most important part of it, and the more important part is the closing of finality. The issues with this theory, though, is that if one approaches signals from a dream-centric approach, then this honestly makes little to no sense, as Elena is just printed as an avatar of the dream who cannot be conflated to the dreamer herself. It should also be added that it is very possible to look at this from another direction. Regarding the final fate of Elena, it is possible that she became the Chimera, it is possible that she just had a gestalt break part, much like Itza, Lots of other options are possible. With Elena, there is lots of mystery and lots of room for interpretation because she is a very complex character, at least from a theory perspective. But now that I've covered Elena CO, a major turn in Signalis lore, I feel like it is possible for us to begin looking deeper into the individual mysteries regarding her and seeing how they connect to the story as a whole. But if you'd like to talk to other Signalis fans about the lore, or just in general, in my description I have my main Discord, VSL Linked. It's where I'll be discussing theories and lore regarding the rest of the game as we continue to march forward. So hopefully some of y'all will swing over. So with that, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, 